Hello good morning viewers. In this tutorial we are going to look onto the geometrical proof of difference of two squares. That is to say we are going to look onto how to factorize a squared minus b squared. First of all let us represent a squared and b squared with some plane figures. All right, let's this plane figures represent a squared and b squared. So let me just label it. We want to take away this plane figure from this one right here. So this is a squared and this is b squared. I remember that a square has all its sides equal. So this is going to be a, a, a and a. Likewise, this is b, this is b, b all round. Secondly, let us inscribe B into A. Alright, I have just inserted B into A. We are interested on that area not covered by B, which is this. So let me label it. Remember that this is B. This is also B. Alright, so let me mark it like this so that we have two areas, A and B. The total length from here to here, remember, is A. And we have already seen that this is B. The left region is going to be A minus B. So this region will be A minus B. And from here to here, remember, is A. That is the longest side. We have A here. Therefore, the area for A will be A multiply by a minus b then let us go to area b this is already b the region here will be a minus b because the total length here is a so this is a minus b and from this point down here remember is the length of the small square b so this is b therefore to compute for area of b we say that this is equal to b multiplied by a minus b. And the total area not covered by b will be equal to the area of a plus the area of b. So now let us add the two areas together. Total area will be equal to a multiplied by a minus b. Then we add b multiply by a minus b all right this is the area uncovered by b but if you observe from the first and the second term we have a minus b in common so we can bring it out we have a minus b from the first term if you factor a minus b you will have a left so this is a we have plus sign from the second term, this is already out. We have B left. All right, this is the total area not covered by B. And remember that this is just A squared minus B squared. And hence, if you factorize A squared minus B squared, which is difference of two squares, you have to obtain A minus B multiplied by A plus B. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.